In this video, we'll be going over order presets. Let's bring up the order presets dialog window by clicking on configure, order presets. Now order presets are convenient for defining default order attributes. Defaults can be defined generically by the type of instrument or specific to an instrument. And you'll notice here at the top, we have a set of tabs and a tab will exist for each type of instrument supported by your broker or data service. So in this case, my broker supports all these type of instruments here. And we can set the order presets generically by instrument type. So in this case, if I wanted to make changes just for futures, I can select the future tab and then make the changes accordingly. Let's go over back to stock. Now under settings, we have order type. This lists all the order types available by your broker. Now this can change or be different depending on which broker that you have. So in this case, I have limit set as a default order type, but I can always change this to stop or anything else listed here. I'm going to put it back to limit. Time and force. We have some options here. Again, this is broker dependent. I'll change this to, actually, let me leave this as is, and I'll show you some changes later on in the video. We have trigger outside of regular trading hours. Again, this may or may not be present depending on which broker you have, but this allows orders to be triggered, activated, or filled outside of the regular trading hours. We have offset, and the offset is a default offset in pips or ticks from the current price when placing an order. The limit offset is a default offset from the current price when placing a limit order. The stop offset is a default offset from the current price when placing a stop order. And the trail offset is a default offset from the current price when placing a trail order. Here we have order sizes. We have a default quantity and the increment. You'll notice here the increment is one. And we have some defaults here. Now we can always add our own. For instance, if we want to add 100, it's now listed here. Now, if we don't want it anymore, we can either remove it or we could click reset to put it back to defaults. So let's click reset and we're back to defaults. Okay, so let's make some changes here. I'm going to select the cash instrument type. I'm going to leave that to limit. I'm going to change this uh, to good till canceled. I'm going to make some changes here, the offset, um, specifically with limits. I'll select 200. The default quantity here, I'll make some changes. I'll make this 100. And I'll change this to 50. We'll click Update. And now we'll notice that if we go back here, the changes are in effect. So let's click Cancel. Let's go over to Order. If I click on Buy, you'll notice here that I have a default quantity of 100, which is what I selected. And our limit is placed here at approximately 200 ticks away from print price. We can make changes specifically to the order presets for a particular instrument by right clicking on the chart, clicking edit instrument, then selecting order presets. Now any changes that I make here will override the changes under the configure order presets top menu that we saw before. So I've set this to 100 ticks for my limit. If I click update, click OK, and then click buy. You'll notice now that the distance is 100 ticks versus the 200 previously set under the configure order presets top menu. Okay, so that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next.